just a rod made up of atoms. Can electricity flow through it if it's just kept as is? Is that possible? Not really, because what electricity needs is a complete loop or a circuit. This is a battery and this is the wire from which the electricity will flow. As you can see, the path is completed from one end to the other. With this loop, there will be a constant flow of electrons. Notice that in this figure, electricity is being generated but not being used for anything at all. It's just getting wasted. Let's put it to good use by using it to light up a bulb. This is a battery, this is a switch, this is a wire and this is a light bulb. When the switch is closed, the circuit is complete and when it's open, the circuit is not complete. And without the circuit, we will not have electricity which will light up this bulb. When the switch is closed, the electrons start flowing and the bulb is lit up. You can try opening and closing the switch to understand when the bulb lights up and when it doesn't. What about the material of this wire? Will electricity flow irrespective of the material of the wire? No, it will depend on the material. Some materials allow electrons to flow more easily or freely among their atoms, while some do not. When do you think electrons will move easily between atoms? That's right, when they are not too tightly bound to their own atoms. Such elements which have very mobile electrons are called conductors. So when we want to make electric wires, we use good conductors of electricity as they assist in electron flow. Metals like copper, silver and gold are a few of the best conductors of electricity. What about elements with low or no conductivity? They are called insulators. They prevent the flow of electrons. Rubber and plastic are good examples of insulators. Ok, so coming back to the main point of electric current. How would we define it? It is simply the rate of flow of electric charge. Which means it is the amount of charge flowing through a particular area in unit time. More the charge flowing in unit time, more will be the electricity. One last point about electricity. In an electric circuit, the direction of electricity is taken as opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. If the electrons are flowing in this direction, then the direction of flow of electricity will be in the other direction.